This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is uh, user parameters in purchasing. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover, they are we will see what is user parameter. Okay, system messages customizing using user parameter MSV. So, how to customize the system messages with this parameter, we will see. Define default values for buyers using user parameter EEO. Uh, so you with this parameter we can do some uh, configuration of default values that we will see. Define function authorization for buyers using parameter EF2. Okay, so with this parameter we can have the some controls for the buyers. So those things we'll discuss. So these are the topics we will be covering in the user parameters. Okay. So first we'll understand what is user parameter okay user parameter ids are used for setting a default value for a particular field suppose let's say when you are executing transactions let's say for one field you want to automatically propose one value suppose let's say you are working for a plant so you are working for a plant called triple zero one so when you are working for that plant uh, you, when you are doing transactions in the plant field, you want that plant to come by default. So those kind of things you can put in the uh, user parameter. I will show you this in the system. You can fill fields on screens with default values from SAP memory using parameter IDs. Okay, so you you can fill the fields with the default values using this parameter IDs. Okay. The maintained value, the maintained value is then automatically filled in for you. Okay, so system automatically fill that value. It is still possible to override it manually. So of course you can change it. System will propose a default value, but you can change it. Okay. Adding default parameters will speed up your use of SCP by providing default values for commonly used screen fields. So basically it will it will speed up the things basically you can save your time by using this parameter ids okay so let's go to the system suppose for use each user id suppose let's say let me log in once so when we are logging into the system we have a user id suppose let's say i'm logging into the system so i'm using this id this is the id i'm using okay so let me go inside Okay, so when I log into the system, the user ID which I used for each user ID, you can maintain some data. So to go to that user ID data, you need to go to system. There are two methods. I will show you both. Go to system, user profile, user data. It will take you to the user data. Okay. So now we are in the user data maintain user profile this is a user id so here if you there are uh, three tabs address defaults and parameters so if you go to parameters so here you have the parameters you see here here you have the parameters what i will do i'll delete this parameter as of now okay so let me save this again i will add it okay so one method is you go to system user profile user data okay one method another method is you can use the transaction code su3 su3 you use this transaction enter so it will take you to the user profile data so now these parameters we will talk about this parameter suppose let's say you are working for a plant okay. let's say you are you are working for a plant triple zero one. Suppose let's say you are executing some transactions. If I go to I'll open one more session. So let's say you are uh, working for a plant. Suppose let's say when you go to a transaction MB52. Okay, so here you have the plant. The plant field is there. Now normally let's say every time you have to enter the plant code triple zero one. Instead of that, you want this plant triple zero one to propose by default by the system for your user. 
so in that case you can add this in the parameter okay so now to add that what you need to do is go here into the go to the parameters here you add the parameter id i will tell you how to get this parameter id i will show you in a minute okay now add the parameter id and the value is triple zero okay so for plant whenever for the plant field i want this to uh, system to propose this plant triple zero one by default so this is the parameter id this is the parameter id wrk and this is the parameter value our plant code just save it okay we saved it now if you go to mb52 let me go back again if you go to mb52 see now system automatically proposing the plant value triple zero one so basically it will save your time okay and this will be applicable only to your user id that particular user ID. okay so now the question is how to get this parameter value so let me go to su3 again if we go to parameters the question is how to get this parameter id wrk so what you need to do is you go to the any any plant field okay any transaction you have the plant field right okay here put the cursor on the field and type f1 on your keyboard so when you type f1 on your keyboard it will give you a pop-up box here you go here technical information click on that here you see parameter id so here you will get the parameter id wrk so the parameter id is parameter id is wrk wrk and we have assigned the value triple zero okay. so that's the reason here we added the parameter id okay let me close this so parameter id is wrk we added the parameter id and the value value is our plant code here the you, you can see the parameter id description plant okay so that's how you can do for you can do this for any field any field so it will save your time basically okay adding default parameters adding default parameters will speed up your use of scp by providing default values for commonly used screen fields so that is the a user parameters basically okay you can add for uh, plant purchase organization okay uh, any 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 field you can do that so that it will of course you can change it also the maintained value is then automatically filled in for you it is still possible to override override it manually so you can change it actually suppose here what system is doing suppose let me go to another transaction this is mb52 right Okay, let's let's log in again. Let me log in again. Log in again. So if I go to now, let's say let me go to MB fifty one. Let's see, MB fifty one. GC system is proposing the plant by default triple zero okay so because we maintain this in the user the user id parameters that's the reason it is getting proposed but still you can change it system is proposing this one but you can overwrite it if you want so suppose let's say i want to change this with 1010 you can change it also okay so that's how the user parameters will work in the system okay so let's move on now we will talk about first user parameter msv msv okay what is this user parameter okay msv all controllable all controllable messages are available in the standard system with the version 00 okay you can change the message type for the message with the version 00 suppose if you try to recollect our initial classes we discussed that there are three types of messages okay try to recollect our initial sap navigation classes there we discussed three types of messages one is information message information message then warning message 
warning message and then third one is error message error message we discussed this already e this will come with w this is w so all these messages will have the version zero